to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, it is gonna be a home update so you already know what that means. We're gonna be getting some things in the mail, which means a haul. Probably gonna be doing some online shopping, which means fun. <laughs> and Rob is actually gonna be doing um, some things around the house. He's gonna be updating some things, which I'm really, really excited. We're getting some things in from Restoration Hardware and CB2, of course, because the addiction is real. <laughs> so if that sounds like something you're interested in, if you want to hang out with us today, see how we update our space, see how our home is really coming to life, then please just keep on watching. The obsession is too real. You know what it is. I order things and then they come in at separate times. So this is from what I ordered literally months ago, but they all just come in at different times. Okay, but don't let me forget, I have to call CB2 because I still have not called them about the broken wine glasses in the last video. So I need to do that like now, like after I'm done filming. I have to call them and tell them that they need to replace those. Okay, so these are for the curtains. We plan on switching the curtains from the dining room and in Briella's room. I'm still not 100% with those tassels. Like, I just, I don't know, you guys. Like, I need to play around with it some more. So I'm gonna switch the curtains from the dining room into Briella's room. And I know I told you that I was thinking about putting them in my glam room. Honestly, you guys, I struggle with curtains. Curtains and rugs are such a struggle for me. Me, I feel like I know my strong suit and it's not <laughs> it's not curtains at least not the first try it takes me a while to get it right so I'm still kind of fumbling around with that so anyway these are the curtain um, hooks we have them in my office it basically just holds the curtain back because it's a double curtain rod so we have a sheer type of curtain and then we actually have like a velvet uh, curtain in front of it so this will hold back the velvet curtain and yeah we're gonna move this and put this in brief Briella's room, so I think this will be really, really cute with the gold. And then it also came with these like, oh, I'll just show you. Let me just open it, let me do it right. Okay, so basically it came with these end caps and it goes on like this, it just twists in. So nothing too, too exciting, but I'm excited. Okay, moving on to West Elm. I ordered curtains from West Elm. You all know if you clicked on my blog, which my blog is getting a makeup over you guys I am so excited about this it's getting a full blow first of all my whole brand is getting a makeover which I cannot wait I'm so excited so my YouTube my Instagram like anything that like any social media platform that I have is gonna be completely like rebranded with like different colors and like a logo y'all I am hype I'm so excited about this I just felt like it was time to like invest in like professional people to kind of give I don't know give it some life so my my YouTube banner is gonna be different. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, my blog. So my blog's getting a makeover because right now it's it's looking a little, mm, it's looking a little sad. We can do better. But anyway, I was saying on my blog, I have these curtains linked. These are the exact same curtains that I have in the breakfast nook and the sunroom, except it's a different color. So this is white, obviously. And I just thought the white would look better in the dining room than that kind of gray beige color that I have in the breakfast nook and the sunroom. Room. The dining room is not huge. Like our dining room is not really all that big. So I really wanted to have curtains that were white, bright to kind of make it look bigger, especially with the window. I didn't want to close the room off with like a, dar a darker curtain. So we went with white. These are the European flax linen curtains, 108 inches long, probably way too long, but I, I like when they puddle. There's something about that that just looks like romantic to me. So yeah, I like it long. So so these are what the curtains look like. Nothing too, too fancy. And yeah. Okay, so moving on, we got a mirror in the mail. Let's open it because <laughs> I'm just crossing my fingers. It's not broken. Okay, you guys, so this is the box. It is from Pottery Barn Team. Let's open it and just pray. Can we just say a quick prayer that this is not broken? <laughs> because y'all, the hassle of living in like a small little town and not having access to like the big city style that I have is like challenging. So we're just gonna cross fingers and toes that this is not broken. Okay, let's do this. See, this right here makes me nervous. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm so scared. It's the fact that it's not, there's no bubble wrap. Like. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, you guys, I'm holding my breath. Wait. <laughs> yes, it's not broken. <laughs> you guys, literally. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys, it is not broken. Thank you, God. That was close. Oh my gosh, okay, it's so cute. Hold on, <laughs> you guys. Literally, how cute is this? Okay, so this is gonna go in Briella's room. It has the plastic on it now, but it's just literally like a long, like oval mirror. I figured this would be so cute right next to her closet. And I know, like I know, what does an 18 month old need with a full length mirror? But it's not about that, okay? It's not about age. It's about aesthetic, okay? And I just know, like, I this is what I do, you guys. Like, I decorate. Like, that's literally what I do. I'm decorating our house. I'm designing our house. Like, doing all the things home. So, this just had to come home. Like, I don't know. I don't know how else to explain myself other than, like, call me crazy all you want to. But I just want it to look cute. And this mirror is just going to be so cute. And, like, I mean, she'll, she'll grow up and appreciate the mirror. And I'll appreciate it it will appreciate it and it's all good so we're putting this in Briella's room baby girl is getting a full-length mirror she can check out her little outfits and it's fine you guys it's fine it's fun it's all in good fun I'm having fun so let's just not even you guys oh my gosh okay restoration hardware just left mr. RH himself has left the building and he left behind the most beautiful dining room chairs I ever did see you guys oh my god <gasps> can we just take a moment I'm so in love right now this curtain rod 1000% has got to go because this right here oh my gosh this is so beautiful I love it so much I'm so happy looking at this like it's the cabinets it's the light fixture it's the table it's the chairs like the whole entire thing it's just it's everything I was a little bit concerned because the table and the cabinets were very gray it kind of felt a little bit dark I was a little nervous but seeing these white chairs next to the table like it just solidified like okay I, I feel like I made the right choice I'm really really happy with it right now looking at everything together my first thought is okay I need to rearrange these cabinets yet again I feel like now inside the cabinets I need lighter things like kind of like this um, I don't know this like decorative like see how bright that is that really pops in the cabinet and that one up there too It really pops. I feel like I need more things like that instead of like that brown one gets lost This gets lost this. I mean you can kind of see it that little thing. We didn't even see her She got lost so right now in my head. I'm like, okay I need to get brighter things so you guys I'm just honestly taking you on a journey like this is a journey I'm figuring this out as I go. I didn't go to school for design like I'm just piecing these things together looking at inspo trying to learn and share what I've learned with you all so basically these are the chairs I love these so much they look like this I I just love them I think they're really really pretty I love the shape of these if you saw my restoration hardware dupes video I linked a ton of dupes actually not a ton let me not <laughs> there are a ton of chairs like this out there I think that's where my head went but I linked I think like three different chairs at three different price points just like this one You don't need this one, but you can definitely get the look for less I just really really like this style and I'm really really excited about this again I feel like every other video when I show white furniture I get questions about it you guys this is a high performance fabric So that's one of the main reasons well really the main reason why I went with these chairs from restoration hardware is because their fabric is high performance meaning if I spill something like water Water, it kind of like like beads up in a way and you can just wipe it off. They're very easy to clean It's very very um, like I would say heavy not heavy duty, but like um, you know what I'm trying to say It's durable. It's just very durable. So yeah, this is what the chairs look like I really really like them So I thought at first I wanted three on this side and three on the other but the ends looked so empty So we did it like this actually. Let me show you what it looks like with three Okay, so this is what the table looks like with three on 
on either side and I do really like this I think this is nice it, it looks a little bit small the table looks smaller like this to me in my opinion and I just feel like it's naked on either sides like I need an extra two chairs to go on either side but I mean I, I I like this I just think I like the other way better because it it fits the table in my opinion you know what it is I like this side with three I think that looks nice I just don't know how I feel about having three on this side like the back of the chairs that looks huge it looks like teeth like it looks so big so I don't I don't know so I'm gonna change it back but you let me know in the comments do you like this version of three uh, next to each other or do you like the first version where you only have two chairs kind of in the middle of the table so I don't know either way I'm really really happy with this I feel like honestly I just have to clear this out like this is just random boxes that uh, artwork I was actually thinking about putting here but I think I'm gonna hold off on that and figure out a different place for it this needs to go in the sunroom like this dining room has really been the catch-all room for boxes and just random stuff so now that the chairs are in I really want to clear all that out and really make it functional and pretty and yeah just move all the junk out of here so really really excited about this so yay I'm happy <laughs> It is time, it is time. Whoa, Brian. <laughs> oh, my bad, I think you had that on camera. Hello. Hey, it's time for us to switch out the curtain rods and the curtains. I'm really, really excited. It is time, and there goes the light. Well, it's time to switch it out. Rob's here, it's the weekend, it's Saturday, so this is part of our Saturday to-do list, and... Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, you guys, so Rob learned a new trick on how to switch out the um, curtain rods. So, here we go. Whoa! And just like that, we have curtains, which are way, way, way too long. I definitely bought the wrong size, so we're gonna have to get ones that are shorter, but this is what it's looking like. You can barely see, of course, but yeah, I really, really like the black curtain rod. I think that looks better, but here's the thing. I want to get shorter curtains because I want to do black rings. Like I want to do black curtain rings instead of having it covering the curtain rod. So we're not all the way done, but this is just like, it's a step in the right direction, but we still have a ways to go. Also, I'm not 100% about these chairs. We spoke about this already. It's, it's getting there. We're getting there. Next up, Briella's room. So everybody, let's go to Bree's room. Yet again, she She's getting different curtains. We're switching it up. This is, I mean, come on, you know, you know us by now. Switch, change, rearrange Listen, this is, is the awesome. name of the game. <laughs> you demand too much, little Brie. <laughs> Briella has requested personally that she get new curtains. <laughs> We're gonna do it together. Um, Briella getting different curtains? Yes. Yeah. Briella's getting different curtains. You guys, I am so happy with how the curtains look. It's nighttime right now. I probably should have waited until the morning to show you, but the way the light is set up, like it, it's just difficult. So anyway. Okay, so this is what the curtains are looking like. I think it looks beautiful. The window looks enormous. I mean, it's pretty much the whole entire wall. It looks like a huge window, but I love it. I will say when it's daytime you can't see like you see how right now you can really see like this is the actual shape of the window and you can tell that I have it so much higher and wider but during the day you really cannot tell it just looks like a light shining through I just love this like there's something about this just just so girly and peaceful and just super cute and I really like this so much more I'm gonna show you guys in the morning because it's really hard to get the full effect in person you can but on camera like the dark night sky coming through the window it doesn't look as good as during the day I promise you like this is it it looks so much better than what we had before and I'm so happy with it what's up y'all I'm back here from Kara's video and today we're gonna be putting up a wall mirror we're in Brielle's room so it's gotta look really nice really pretty I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day yeah. You'll get tired of my voice That's how I'm 
much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know Just how much I tell you You guys, okay, first of all, I wanted to show you this in the daylight. I wanted to show you the curtains. I love them. I think they're beautiful. I think we're gonna do the tassels over here. And if you've been watching for a while, this will be our second, maybe third attempt with putting the tassels over here. But in total, probably our 10th attempt trying to get these tassels to fit in this room. So we'll see. But I wanted to show you the mirror. Oh my gosh, you guys, I look crazy. So I'm not gonna stand in front of the mirror. But I love this so much. I think it looks awesome. The perfectionist in me. Uh, notices that it's a little bit closer over here than it is over here, but it's fine. This is what the mirror is looking like. I think it's so cute. Again, like I said, of course it's extra to have a mirror. Like she doesn't need a mirror, but like she does. Like she doesn't, but like at the same time she does. I love it. I think it's so cute. I love that it swivels. There is a pin board on the back, which I think is really, really cool. So again, you guys, like as she gets older, like this room is gonna grow with her. And even if let's say like we move or we're not in this exact same space, we will still own these things. Things. So in her next room, like she'll have them. It'll grow with her. And I'm really, really excited about how her room is coming along. So currently the tassels are a jumbled mess over there, but I'm thinking maybe putting the tassels right there again, trying. I feel like I'm trying to force these tassels because I bought them. I can't return them. So, and I really do like it. I really do. I'm just struggling trying to find a spot. I might just try to hang it here. I'll try to hang it on all the blank spots just to see every where where it could possibly fit so we'll try the tassels here we'll try it here just just because just to say we did and then we'll also try it over here because those are literally the only blank spots available where it could fit so if they don't fit in one of those three places then I'm gonna call it quits but I want to try it first and see this is definitely like the puzzle piece that does not fit so it might not work out but we're just gonna play around because why not okay you guys we are back with the tassels we're gonna try to hang them up over here this is where we are in Briella's room. So go ahead, Rob. Let's see what it's looking like. Oh, hold on. Oh, <laughs> Don't you dare. Okay, I'm gonna hold it all the way. This is what it's looking like over here. And I'm just, honestly, I'm just not in love with it at all. I think we're gonna call it quits on the tassels once and for all. I think it's over for now. She will be remembered. She will be missed. Honestly, we could put it on the curtains, but Rob was like, absolutely not. <laughs> I just really like the tassels. I think they're so cute. When I bought them, I was so excited. Excited, but I just I don't think they fit in this space So we're gonna put them away for now and maybe you know in the future if we switch something else up We might find a spot, but goodbye tassels. Goodbye R.I.P. Deuces <laughs> Rob is so happy <laughs> You're happy you don't have to hang those up? Yeah, they were so awkward to hang up. <laughs> like, you put up one side, the rest of it's heavy. It's like, mm. oh man. Brielle, are you okay with no tassels? Brielle could care less. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so next up we got this tic-tac-toe wall game for RG's room. So we're setting it So we're setting it up now. So basically it comes with all of these X's and O's and he can play on the wall. So we're literally gonna put it here underneath the shelving unit and then it's gonna be so cute. So it's just basically like a fun little game for RG to play and I just think it adds like a youthfulness in the space and it's I've never seen anything like this. I got it off Etsy. I'll have it linked down below. And yeah, so we're gonna set that up. How cute this is. It's definitely very, um, like it's not like secure at all. I mean, it's like just little Velcro stickies. So we'll see how long this lasts, but it's definitely cute. It's something fun. RG is enjoying it. So we're gonna keep it going. Appreciate it, Rob. Really, really simple to put up, right? Yeah, super easy. So easy. 